Hey, welcome to a special edition of Woosh that I'm going to call Shop Spotlight. So, I recently had the opportunity to go to my local comic shop, Nix Comic Strip in Danvers, Mass, to film some footage of the store and interview the staff there, including Oscar and Chris and the owner, Nick. So, enjoy this video, and I'll see you at the end. <laughs> Two people who helped make this place run, or probably are a huge component of making it run, are Oscar and Chris. So let's find out a little bit more about them. So Chris, uh, what is it that you are collecting at the moment? Um, I mainly focus on collection records, vinyl, music, all that. All right, and Oscar. Ooh, I collect everything. <laughs> Got into One Piece, trading cards now. Model kits, Gundam, Zoids, you name it. On and off on the comic books as of late right now. Okay, so what is your guys' favorite part of collecting? The hunt. Finding that perfect copy of whatever you're collecting. Collecting okay. the rare stuff, the expensive stuff. <laughs> Fair, knowing, knowing both Quality of over quantity. Working on that this year, that is a channel goal. Um, but yeah, so you guys are here day to day. What is it that you think is the one thing you would change with the comic industry? Uh, newer characters. So basically take a back seat for your your Aquamans, your Spider-Mans, give some of the maybe Rose Gallery characters a try. Okay, okay. Better original stories instead of rehashing the same. Fair. Fair. All right. What is your favorite collection in the store at the moment? Favorite item? I do like to see the vintage Star Wars stuff, like, and carded, like, you know. I used to collect the Masters of the Universe, so the carded Masters of the Universe in the case back there. Fair. We I'm did not... grab a Hulk 181 that we have somebody that's pressing currently. That's a nice pickup, but it's missing this Marvel value stamp. Yeah. How do you feel about qualified grades for missing Marvel stamps that you're supposed to cut out? I mean, it's part of the book, so it's it's justified, I think. I'm a completionist, so <laughs> everything has to be mint. Everything in pages, stamps, everything has to be included for me to buy. If it doesn't have, if it's missing, I don't want it. How do you feel about attached covers, then? 
No, is that also? Uh, it depends on the age. If it's a golden age, 1920s, 30s, respectfully, that's fine. That's acceptable. Okay. But if it's a modern book or a book in the 80s, no, no, no. That's my opinion. <laughs> Collecting subjective. No, that's that's fair. I mean, Chris, you mentioned you're collecting records at the moment. Anything in particular you're hunting for, or Alice in Chains unplugged? <laughs> fair enough. So if anybody who watches this has those records, let us know. We'll get you in touch. Um, but is there is there a specific comic run you're collecting at the moment? Uh, for or... modern, something's killing the children, and I'm still working on. Grew the Wanderer. There's some missing about 30 issues. All right, there you go. All right. And Oscar, are you collecting any runs at all at the moment? or? I don't collect any runs. I'm not a run collector. Just Actually, I take that back. Uh, that dog book, Stray Dogs. <laughs> Was it Stray Dogs? <laughs> Stray Dogs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair All six enough. issues. All six issues. <laughs> I'm an animal lover. Anything with animals on the cover, take my money. So did you buy the Marvel Meow book that came out? I have one in my box. Yes, I do. <laughs> and they're coming out with Stray Cats, I think it is called. An offshoot of Stray Dog. Uh, what is the biggest book you've ever managed to sell? Hmm. Hulk 181. Yeah. We sold it three times. It's Sean. Sean. We'll bleep out his name. Was <laughs> Sean. He was, a, he was a good sub. What is the hardest part of working at the comic shop? Um, I mean, there's a lot. We could go with sometimes you can't buy everything you see, or you just get into stuff that you don't want to collect, but you end up going down that road. One piece. <laughs> One piece, my example. I just got into the anime, uh, probably like half a year ago. And you know, now I'm buying the trading cards. Yeah, you? not wanting to spend your whole paycheck on toys or books. If you could get rid of one line, like one story arc in comics, what would it be? That's a good one. Twenty ninety nine. Yeah, everything twenty ninety nine stuff. Future, really? Yeah, it's kind of like played out. Oh. Well. If it if it was Spider Man, sure, keep him. Hmm. But the Hulk, the Punisher, we don't need all that characters. Uh, Ravager. Yeah, Ravager. Yeah. Random character. Thank you guys for all the work you do here. And uh, we'll catch you guys back here.
Well, I'm here with Nick, the owner of Nick's Comic Strip, and uh, I think hey we can ask him a little bit about the shop. So, Hi, Louis. Hey, Nick. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What is your favorite part of owning this shop? That's tough. There's a lot of aspects that like I could go in on here, but I would say the day-to-day, -day, for the most part, customer interactions. Okay. Um. It's like customers like these guys, you know, just doing things, venturing out, getting excited, putting themselves out there. I mean, look at him. He's, he's out on in the internet now, like that's it. He's on YouTube. Well, owning the shop, there's a lot of collectibles around. What is the what is your favorite collection that you own? As a whole, as like a whole entity or like... That you personally have within your collection that you, that like you see it and you're like, this brings me joy. Probably, I would have to say my Pee Wee spread. Big Pee Wee guy, huh? Big Pee Wee guy. Is that is that does that explain the uh, the hand tattoo? The Pee Wee slash. I don't know if you can get in there, camera lady. Or on any given Sunday on a whatnot, maybe Peppa Pig. We're not really sure. <laughs> That's what people say. But yeah, it was just like a thing I did. It's exciting. I know uh, Batman eighty nine is another big one for you. Batman eighty nine, Batman sixty six. Oscar likes to make fun of me a lot for that, but you know he's. He doesn't understand, so I, I don't hold it against him, you know? What is, what is your favorite thing currently in the, in the shop? I'm a soccer for like carded G.I. Joes and carded Star Wars, like vintage. I don't know why. Um, love carded G.I. Joes, like 80s, 90s. Love them. What was that? What is the one thing you would change in the comic industry? Oh, jeez. Huh. Um. That's tough, because, like, I think there's a handful of things, like, one might change. Um. I feel like. As a whole, publishers, companies, whatever, corp corporations. May, maybe they should listen to their consumers, their readers, their patrons, more so than their bottom line in order to keep themselves happy. Because like in the end, the people that are buying the stuff are the ones that make the sales. It's not like the boardroom CEOs. I just wish that like everyone could be happy every week. Fair. You know? That's fair. That's Whether fair. it's like enough coffees. If, if a new customer <laughs> showed up right now, has never been in the shop, what is the one thing you would want them to know about? Oh, come on in, you know, have a good time. Just have a good time. It's not about like, you know, it's just have a good time, you know, enjoy yourself. Well, that's all. Yeah. So we'll, we'll wrap this up with a softball question. What is your favorite superhero? Or who is your favorite superhero? I don't get like one from Marvel and one from DC. You can have one from, one from each. Sure. You can have one from Marvel and one from DC. Romans. I would say Batman and Spider Man. Because I'm very I'm a basic I'm a basic New England pumpkin spice Ugg boot wearing kind of gal, you know? <laughs> um, Spider Man and Batman. This is gonna crop in really well with <laughs> oh, like earlier because an Oscar saying Batman and Spider Man are the same character. Of course they that's the point. <laughs> that's why I like them. And listen, if you're not hitting smashing that like and subscribe or however you're supposed to do it, if you're not doing all that for them, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh. Like, smash, subscribe, whatever you're supposed to do with the button down here. What's it down here? Or is it this one? I don't know. Just smash them. <laughs> like, and subscribe. Like, cool. Thanks again to everyone at Nick's Comic Strip for allowing me to come in and showcase this awesome store. So, if you're ever in Danvers, Massachusetts, make sure to check them out. If you're local to Danvers, Massachusetts, make sure to go check them out for a subscription option. If you have any books that you would like to add to a pull list, it's 20% off your purchases for the week. It's a great way to save some money, support a local shop, and continue to build your comic book collection. Can't, can't recommend them enough. 
They're absolutely fantastic. And because, as I always say, I can't go into a shop and not walk out with something. While I was there filming, I happened to notice something on the wall. And, of course, I had to pick it up. So what did I pick up, you ask? Well, I picked up West Coast Avengers number 45, the first appearance of the White Vision. Great, great book. Really, really stoked to, to have this. I've wanted it for a while, and as you can tell, this is an homage to the first appearance ever of the Vision, uh, even as far as having uh, Behold the Vision, which was actually on his original cover as well. So really, really excited to, to add this in. Um, but definitely, definitely go in and um, make sure to check them out for all of your comic book needs. And if you can't make it there in person, they're also available online at um, nickscs.com. So definitely check them out on there. I believe they also have a short box shop if you um, want to download the short box app as well. So support them. Um, thank you for the support on this channel. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying this type of content. I hope to do more shop spotlights in the future. Let me know if that's something you would like. Um, but that's it for us, us here at Woosh. So uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.